What's up tankers and welcome to another Armor Warfare review and gameplay video. Today I'm gonna talk about the French main battle tank, the Leclerc T4. Uh, it's been one week uh, since my first review video. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I added a link below this video. Also do feel like uh, dropping some comments about content you want to see in the future and I'll be sure to put some work into it. So yeah. This is uh, the Leclerc, it's the principal French MBT and one of the most advanced and expensive MBTs in the world. Uh, it's a rather complex electronic device mixed with its powerful engine and uh, its composite uh, armor makes it uh, rather unique on the battlefield and uh, yeah, taking its credit for being so well uh, renowned. It can be obtained through the Francine de la Roche line. It's a pretty straightforward line. Uh, it's mostly composed of MBTs, the IMX and the MX vari variants, and you know, tier 4 and 5 are really fun to play with, especially with their auto cannons. It's, uh, when you're matching your own tier, it's really fun to play these tanks. Uh, they continue with the Tier 6 and 7 uh, and 8 uh, TDs, really, the tier 6 TD is actually an Italian TD and it's really, really powerful, one of the most powerful TDs out there of tier 6. It's unmanned turret and uh, it's deadly missiles, it um, really makes a difference on the battlefield. And yeah, the line finishes with the Leclerc variants, variants and um, with a tier 10 actually having its uh, all its upgrades, uh, all its upgrades from the tier nine, but it uh, act it's actually blessed with its uh, with this uh, 140 millimeter gun, with an average of uh, 860, 875. Sorry about that. With a penetration of uh, 840 millimeters and a reload time of uh, seven seconds. Well. Actually, this one is boosted because of my retrofits. I have my uh, gun breach, improved gun breach, the, which uh, gives me uh, a boost in the rate of fire by 13%. Now, now, yeah, for for those of you actually who watch my streams, I still didn't get the improved barrel lining. I'm at five out of ten right there. Uh, I'm still trying hard for it to get it, get it especially because I'm playing uh, tier 5 MBTs. But uh, yeah, I think by the end of the week I'll have this. So yeah, I'll replace this one with uh, uh, with a upgraded version which, give, which gives me a boost to max spread as well. And uh, I also boosted uh, the max spread with another retrofit, the muzzle reference system V2 another minus 10% and uh, another aim time and max spread boost to uh, to my Leclerc and you know, I still have room for another retrofit I think I'm gonna go for something like a vision range but I don't know or something like protection retrofit something like that third hull traverse or something like that because it, sometimes it's uh, really sluggish but um, yeah with the right um, equipment, you can get it to fire some deadly volleys on the battlefield. Yeah, it has uh, 3,500 hit points. Uh, its uh, hole is rather easy to penetrate from the front. As you can see here, I'm firing AP and uh, yeah, it's pretty much uh, green, it's a 100% uh, penetration chance. As that act actually changes a bit if you angle it, like 45 degrees, I don't know. But then you'll sh expose your side too much and they'll see your side and penetrate right there where the engine is. And you don't want that. Uh, the trick with the... Uh, with it's how I play the Leclerc in order for me to make my enemies uh, harder for them to pen my hull. 
is uh, of course rather the basic one is play hold down but uh, when you don't get the chance to play hold down I get this special ability the defense one it actually takes like four seconds five seconds to activate yeah and will give me a boost in hold throwers with uh, 30 percent uh, and that uh, will make this uh, Leclerc rather really an really really mobile MBT which I can uh, actually dance in front of my enemy and uh, yeah I will make it uh, a bit harder for the enemy to hit also one thing that I did notice about the Leclerc it's uh, it's composite armor I want to share this thing with you guys it's composite armor as soon as you gangle it like this like 45 degrees if you have an ATGM incoming from at you, like an Armada ATGM, if you angle it like this and you put your um, uh, your tread in the front, if the ATGM uh, will hit your composite right armor here, it will not penetrate. And uh, I will, uh, and I do that uh, almost all the time when I'm facing uh, ATGM like um, opponents, and they are having a really really hard time hitting me. Uh, well, of course, if they are agile enough and they can quickly change their target by hitting my engine, but uh, that I'll that depends actually because they have like one second for that to happen. So yeah, it's a really um, mobile tank if you know if we, with the proper equipment, and uh, yeah, it, it actually relies on that. It's not good for brawling I think it's in my opinion it's like a support tank a support MBT also with this defense uh, active ability once you activate it uh, the relight, uh, reload time changes to like uh, 6.5 seconds and hitting like uh, 900 damage every 6 seconds I think it's this tank it's uh, a real singing bird right there also you have an, another passive special ability that uh, if you stay near your teammates or partners or whatever you want to call them uh, you get another um, boost in the spread uh, in the spread of the where is it where is it where is it you get another boost in the spread uh, of your um, oh here it is yeah uh, in the minimum spread of your uh, aiming uh, aiming circle so uh, yeah the trick is to stand stay near your teammates so that's actually another point for me that confirms that it's the Leclerc is an uh, support tank actually uh, in terms of uh, mobility it can reach 72 kilometers per hour it's pretty predecessor like the tier 9 Leclerc it was a bit faster and a bit um, uh, a bit faster in terms of acceleration it takes like four seconds to reach the 32 kilometers an hour but you can change that if you want a real mobile and a fast tank you can ch always change that with the uh, top speed and override special abilities but I honestly prefer to uh, play my clerk in the support uh, in the support uh, role on the battlefield I always choose a teammate from which I can rely on and support him wherever I can with my huge and enormous firepower so uh, the commander I use the Sabrina because now with the update on the armor warfare that uh, the kinetic uh, high explosive shells you can really devastate some uh, some of the low armored vehicles out there yeah, I basically happened to me a lot with this uh, special ability of, his, of the Sabrina commander the module damage is uh, actually going for like almost 50% bonus and it, all, it happened to me like usually happens to me to one shot enemies because I ammo rack them instantly and it's I don't know sometimes it goes like like an atomic bomb there and I'm it's a, it's really fun to play I use my Sabrina in this uh, uh, 
in this um, spec, I think it's called. Yeah. I go with the crew damage increased and the aim time increase and uh, the um, threat hit, po hit points and I will go for the spotting range and uh, turret traverse and the ability to spot targets uh, behind probably some spotting um, uh, some spotting activity right there so yeah in terms of the crew uh, you can also opt for another commanders like uh, i don't know you can go for the new commander out there the kwon han it uh, will increase uh, its high alpha you can go over 1000 damage on the shot on with leclerc and 1000 damage every six seconds i think it's uh, something to worry about on the battlefield if i am the enemy uh, I honestly didn't find any other commander for uh, him to play with. I think uh, if you really, really want to go uh, with a variant of Leclerc, like an uh, like an active tank and mobile tank, you can also go for the Yanisanov with his uh, spotting uh, ranges increases, and you will be like an MBT spotter. And once every three seconds, thirty seconds, you can spot. But that actually, it's quite conditional. It works on some maps like uh, pipelines, or I don't know these huge maps where there are forests and uh, long distances and for you, for me to cover. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite conditional. So you decide on the commander. My best shot here is Sabrina. I will stay with Sabrina for these games and the gameplay. Actually, I, I will show you in the gameplay uh, some two, uh, <laughs> some two really nasty shots on the Bradleys with the HE, the kinetic HE now, the upgraded kinetic HE shells, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. In terms of crew, it just comes with a driver and the gunner. I got for the spin to win because I need the whole traverse. I need to make it a little bit more mobile. And the track and wheel repair speed improved by 25%. I want uh, when I am out of my repair kits, I want to, my tracks to repair faster. So yeah, that's those are my options. You can also go, I think, with uh, acceleration in off-road driving if you're opting for a mo more mobile Leclerc. And yeah, maybe combined with some ramming damage, yeah, because. Uh, Leclerc, also all Leclerc's uh, have a uh, boost in ramming because of their upgrades. Uh, so yeah, you can go for that speed and ramming, like uh, Kamikaze. And for the gunners, I went for the aim speed because the targeting, where is the targeting? Okay, the aim speed because it's uh, one point. Eight, eight, seven seconds. I also put it with the retrofit right there. I told you, where is it? Where is it? Uh, here with uh, one more of five percent aim speed. And I, I don't know. I feel like uh, upgrading my aim speed below twenty seconds on every tank. Everything that it's uh, um, uh, everything that's below uh, two, two seconds. I think it's really a sluggish tank and really needs some special handling there. So yeah. I'll go beneath the 22 seconds. The uh, and also for the max spread, for I also find that that everything that's uh, uh, below um, 0 0.100 here degrees really needs some upgrades. So yeah, I went for that. This is my personal uh, this is my personal opinion and on how I should play Leclerc. Maybe you guys find something else. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe you can go for some turret travers, accuracy decay you really don't need because you don't have an autoloader or something and the uh, ATGMs he doesn't even use it. Maybe some cannon hit points for because enemies will get pesky and uh, will try to shoot you on the gun, man gun mantlet. I don't know if it's really that penetrable but yeah here it is. They will try to shoot you through your turret ring and maybe they will miss and hit your gun so yeah. Maybe you can go for that, but I have that problem solved with Sabrina with my cannon hit points that are increased by 21-22%. I found that my cannon really is important in the battlefield. So uh, yeah, that's it with the stats. Now uh, let's head on to the gameplay. So the map, life jacket. 
we also have like um, another tier 10 uh, MBT, the Panther. And my plan is to support uh, at MBT, never go too far from the Panther. As you can see, I will start just uh, by positioning myself into uh, the front line right there, and uh, that's not the position where I want to be with my the clerk. We also have that Gao. They are already moving into attack the treatment plant. Get over there fast! So there are also some trucks still hitting enemy. explosives in the area. Uh, that's actually, Disarm them before they that's, detonate that's to minimize damage to the plant. Conditional thing to happen because in order for him to play his full capacity, I um, need to force the enemies to show their rear and their size to him. And in the first phase right here, that's not the thing that's going to happen. Yeah, I found this small ridge just uh, if it goes down, this might as well into my right here. That will keep my hole safe from uh, shots from the right. And uh, I will just uh, be able to shoot, see my, show myself the turret to the enemies. So that will keep me safe, from, at least from the right. But as you can see here, uh, I in a bit of a front line Identify target. And because the enemy Which shows up on the left and I'm really exposed just because I'm just because I'm facing him Identify without, target. Uh, without uh, uh, hiding my hole and I got punished by the Bradley who hits me for like 90 damage there with his 80 GM but uh, the, my shots keep, uh, keep, uh, <laughs> keep going right here. I started, uh, I made myself an opener right there with uh, 950 damage with my first shot. And with my active ability defense, uh, my reload time is down now down to 6.5 seconds. And I give 900 damage per shot every 6 seconds. I, the first phase is over, I deactivate my um, defense uh, active ability. In order to change my position on the map I need uh, better acceleration and a better uh, top speed limit. Because the downside of using this uh, active ability, the defense, it, that uh, your acceleration and the top speed will be reduced. I know that the acceleration is increased but the top speed is reduced like 70%. So you're actually getting to really fast to 20, so maybe 30 km per hour, but three, that's Quickly, the maximum there, speed which you can go for. But uh, now I changed my position, I activate in front again, and I'm prepared for the next wave of the enemy, or wave, next wave of enemies, enemy AIs. Let's see what is gonna be. What what are they gonna throw at us? Good, that's the last truck. Nothing yet. I'm starting to lose patience. And now I made a bit of, made a big uh, a bit of mistake, losing my patience. Identify. Made me ignore my left right there because uh, I just made it hard. so that armada takes place. His fall right there and put a shot in him, but that cost him uh, like 900 damage from the third meter right there on the left. They took out my sight! Good to shoot! And then a Bradley attack starts. I put one AP shot into the Bradley. Then I decide to switch to HE. And this is the thing I want to show you guys. Kinetic uh, Kinetic uh, HE shields upgrade. I see the third ring of the Bradley. Boof! Insta armor right, right there with 1k damage and uh, explosion. Created a blast that uh, damaged uh, his nearby enemies. So I was like, uh, yeah, also it was my first game with the Clerks and the uh, HE kinetics were upgraded. Updated, and uh, I was like, wow, this thing can really hurt. 
now. Uh, big wave of enemies. I am. Uh, I soon realize that I'm in the. I'm in no position to stand and hold the line because the fire is there. Quickly cut smokes to conceal myself. At least when. In, at least until the. The enemy eyes are dead. Then I should go back to holding the line. But really, Lekarki is just standing face to face with you. Here, an overkill on the Bradley. The A21 just uh, shot the jam over him. I'm trying to find the weak spot on the enemy, team, but uh, I realize that uh, in order for me to shoot the 14 armada and the 14 armada hole I need to expose myself too much and I don't want that when I'm facing a, a 14 armada because he will hit me and punch me for like three damage at least so I decided to shoot, shoot his turret ring I put some good shots into him I make this risky maneuver right in front of the enemy because I know he shot the 14 armada and uh, yeah, I want to take down this red just in case they decide to flank me or something like that. I give them to being in a Good job. big trouble. We're not done so, yet. yeah, second phase is uh, almost done. I was uh, HE loaded so when I showed the Armada and I uh, didn't bang his tracks right there. So cast his smoke right there because if he managed to hit me right there I will I would have been dead 100% and the hit chance was probably very likely to pan me his hit chance I changed position for the last phase I quickly activate the defense right back in pretty classy for <laughs> My playstyle with the clerk. I have to try to hit the shot into the PL, but I hit some environment thing right there. I didn't know what it is. Just uh, waiting for the enemy to rush the gap. And then he said to put an HE shot right there. And as you can see, that's the shot that I've been taking, talking about. 1.7k damage there from Bradley. Just with the HE kinetic shell, and my personal opinion was that it was because that it's mixed with uh, the Sabrina module damage bonus, the 50% module damage bonus combined with the uh, up upgraded kinetic shells on the Leclerc. That uh, it's really, I mean, sure hit on the Bradley Amorak. I also, I always. Uh, Aim for the, 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 their uh, turret ring on the Bradleys, and when I pen with HE, it's basically three or four modules short destruction right there. And um, I'm one of them most of the times, so they blast out instantly. And it's really fun to play for in this uh, situation. Sabrina and I find it much more proper for my playstyle with Leclerc. Here just uh, cleaning up the last enemies of the face. Uh, I wish I here right for the Bradley. Those another Bradley swarm coming in, so that for me. But they be doing a really nice average job as well with 900 damage average per shot. I, this is the last enemy, the 215 Armada, I decided to go to deactivate the defense and go for him. But right when I decided to go around this this tank, he, the 14 Armada decides to charge. So bad timing for me, but nevertheless, I put a tracking shot and I got it where just where I wanted it. On the plate for my teammates to kill him and put another tracking shot on him. And get all that, that assisted damage. So yeah, this is the Leclerc gameplay, it was a good game for me, uh, managed to do like 40k damage and uh, playing my uh, support role 
actually did make a difference so yeah because uh, as you can see I did like 10k assisted damage and um, 37k damage with 1k damage with 1k experience gained so yeah this is the gameplay with Leclerc it's not your tank for uh, holding line right, right there I guess if you you're just that type of a tanker you can go for challenger or something else like I don't know Merkava or something uh, this tank is really mobile when it comes to brawling uh, it uh, you can deliver a real nice surprise on the light tanks that are trying to surround you uh, when you are brawling uh, really good rate of fire and a reliable gun when, whenever it, you choose to support your teammates and uh, good penetration you also can pen most of the uh, most of the embities from the front and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so this is for us this is about my today's uh, gameplay and review video hope you guys uh, like and if you do make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one have an excellent day.